Hello everybody, this is Albert with Green Tea House. I hope you're doing well today. Today I'm gonna to do my best in encapsulating exactly what is green tea. My goal and Casey's goal here is to do these videos as short as we can because we know the TikTok attention span of, of most Americans today. Now before we talk about this, I highly recommend you watch the first episode that we did on what is tea exactly and the Camellia sinensis bush. So in its shortest definition, what is green tea? Green tea is the leaves of the Camellia sinensis bush that have been plucked and then they have been fixed. And what do I mean by fixed? Fixed means essentially freezing the oxidation process. And I shouldn't use the word freezing because they, they fix it by actually doing the opposite, which is heating it. But it, it freezes, for lack of a better word, the oxidation process. And this is very important, and this is one of the differentiations between green tea and some of the other teas, especially something like oolong black and dark tea. Those are oxidized, which means they break down and they wither. With green tea, it's plucked, and then they're going to what we call fix it. And we'll talk about in future episodes how they fix it or freeze the leaf to stay in its pristine condition. And then the reason they want to fix it is because with green tea, once you fix it or freeze it, it's not going to oxidize and break down. And so you are getting the, the peak benefit of the Camellia sinensis plant before it starts to oxidize. So you're going to get the higher levels of just good amino acids, the antioxidants, the catechins, the ECGCs, all these things we'll talk about in future episodes. And so you could argue that green tea out of the six colors that come from the Camellia sinensis bush is the healthiest tea and should be the tea that you're ingesting the most. Some tea purists would, would argue otherwise, but for health benefits, green tea is the healthiest. So what do they do with green tea? They're gonna pluck it. Now, future episodes, because when they pluck it determines a lot of different types of green tea. The best green tea is typically plucked in the first harvest, which depending on where you're plucking it in the world, is gonna be April. But they're gonna pluck it, then they're gonna fix it. Now, how they fix it or freeze it in the state that it's in is largely determined which country is doing it. In Japan, they typically do it by steaming it. In China, they do it by pan frying it. But either way, they're gonna fix it. Once they fix it, then the next step is they're gonna roll it. And the reason they roll it is to bring out more of, of the juices. And so when they're rolling it, they're gonna be doing a lot of this kind of stuff. And then eventually what they're gonna do is they're gonna roll it into different shapes. This is why you see green tea, you might see something like gum powder, which is a Chinese one where they roll it up into little balls. And sometimes, like I'm drinking gyokuro, which is kind of high-end Japanese tea, and it's gonna be very fine, almost like lawn shavings. And so you're gonna see a wide variety of green teas that are rolled into different shapes. And then the third step after fixing it, rolling it, is that they have to dry it. And so today they typically dry it by gigantic, for lack of a better word, like, like dryers, tumble dryers. And they have to dry it because tea needs to be dried regardless of what color it is and to less than 5% of moisture. And the reason for this is if it's not dried, it's gonna to lead to mold growth. And we'll talk about this in future episodes, how you can re-steep your tea quite a bit, but you don't wanna leave it out because if you leave it out for several hours, it's gonna increase the chances of a mold growth. So they eventually dry it. And this is why when you buy tea, it's dry, obviously. And if you pour water on it, you might as well throw it out because no matter what you do to it, you can put it in an oven, it's, it's, it's tainted, it's vitiated. And then the last thing they're gonna do is they're gonna sort through it, kind of like picking out the bad from the good. So in short, green tea, whether it be matcha, which is grounding up the actual Camellia sinensis leaf, typically the buds, whether it's grounding it up, it doesn't matter what green tea, where it's from, it's gonna have three basic steps. Pluck, I should say four. Plucking it, which is crucial, right? All of them have to be plucked, regardless of the color. Pluck it, then they fix it, and, and depending where they fix it, it's either gonna be steamed or pan fried. Then they roll it, then they dry it, and then they sort it, and then it's canned. So that's green tea in its shortest definition. It is not oxidized at all, as opposed to the other color teas that have some oxidation or a lot of oxidation. There's no oxidation or breakdown in green tea, and that's why it's argued that it is the healthiest of the teas that come from the Camellia sinensis tea plant. Guys, I hope this helps. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.